hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, videos uh, we have discussed the basic introductory concepts related to iot and the design of the iot network okay the various concepts uh, basic concepts related to that so the basic definition of iot which we have already covered in the design aspects of the iot network okay basically the physical design it involves the communication protocols okay the in the physical design aspect which involves the defining the things that are involved in the iot network and the communication protocols the communication protocols the which defines how the data exchange or sharing of information or data between the various devices that are involved in the network that happens in several layers i have already discussed that in the previous video okay the design of the iot networks so i would please recommend you to watch that video first the two videos which i have posted you please watch that and then come to this so this uh, communication it happens in several layers okay at several levels so that is what is the topic of today's discussion okay the communication layers okay the levels so we all know the basic definition of the iot let's just uh, look at it in order to uh, just be to refresh a certain things so basically iot can be defined as a world of interconnected things where each and every thing a simple electronic or electrical apparatus appliance uh, machinery which is powered by electrical means it is connected to the internet okay for sensing actuation monitoring processing control or simply to exchange or share data among the various devices okay and everything here is automated which means all of these things take place without minimal or no interference by the human beings okay so the main objectives of the iot which we have already discussed in the previous video it involves connecting the various things that are operated through electrical means device appliances machines whatever to achieve exchange of data and information to share data and information among one another for achieving these uh, functions sensing processing controlling actuation monitoring and to provide various value based services okay the iot network design it involves two aspects the physical design and the logical design so the physical design of the iot that involves two things the things in iot which we have already discussed what those things are it is anything which is operated through electrical means and has a unique identity defined by the ip address or url link okay and uh, it has the ability to sense remote sensing actuation monitoring control it should fit into one of these things okay one of these objectives either it can it has sensing properties actuation properties monitoring properties control uh, processing whatever it should fit into one of the uh, things one of the uh, uh, objectives the second aspect is the communication protocols now the communication protocols in iot they define or they determine how the data is shared or exchanged between the various devices and this thing happens at several layers at several levels now i have already posted a video related to open system interconnection model in the computer networking and data communication subject that uh, section so you can please uh, check out that video and i would recommend you to watch all of those videos around uh, i think uh, 15 around videos are there 
you please uh, check out those videos because it is it is very much related to this subject okay a lot of terms that we will be using here uh, uh, the in these basic uh, introductory parts it, it has already been covered there those concepts so you please watch out, uh, watch those videos first now this uh, layers or levels in which the communication takes place between the various devices in the iot network they are the link layer the network or internet layer the transport layer and the application layer generally there is a top to uh, bottom or bottom to top approach that is used depending upon in which direction the data is being sent or who, which is the sending device which is the receiving device so generally the, the iot layers are in this way link layer is at the bottom above the link layer is the network or internet layer above that is the transport layer and finally at the top is the application layer now each of these layers has a specific task a specific function uh, which 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 facilitates the exchange of data between the two devices that are involved or the devices that are involved in the uh, communication process first the link layer the functions of the iot layer so first is the link layer now the link layer is uh, mainly concerned with the physical medium okay connecting medium which is being used it can either be wired or wireless if it is wired it uh, it, it depends on uh, upon what type of uh, wire it is what type of cable is used whether it is a twisted pair cable coaxial cable optical fiber um, and if it is wireless what wireless means is used okay in the electromagnetic spectrum which frequency range is used microwave radio wave whatever okay it, it involves determining the characteristic features associated with the physically connecting medium that connects the two devices okay now we will be discussing about these things in detail just here to give you an overall idea i have just uh, covered it in short so the various examples of the link layer protocols that are used okay they are 802.3 ethernet 802.11 which is the wi-fi 802. Uh, this is the wimax 2g 3g 4g communication protocols so these are the examples of the uh, link layer protocols okay so these are the protocols that are used for the uh, which is related to the physical characteristics of the connecting medium now here i would like to make a correction it is 802.16 which is the ymax uh, by mistake i've written it 11 okay it is uh, ymax is 802.16 okay so the next is the uh, network or internet layer now this is the layer which is just above the link layer now the link layer is concerned with the physical characteristics of the connecting medium now the internet layer or the network layer this is responsible for uh, the sending and receiving of the ip datagrams now what is this ip it is the internet protocol datagrams now basically it is used for addressing purpose okay to determine the identity of the source and the destination device okay you know to identify which device is sending the data and to which device the data is being sent okay where to send the data so that is done uh, achieved through the internet protocol datagrams or the ip datagrams which is handled by the network or internet layer okay so the main objectives is the addressing or identification of the communicating devices or the devices that are involved in this exchange of data or the sending and receiving of the data and the routing of the data packets routing means to to send the data from the source device to 
the destination device it can be it can take place directly or indirectly to through various intermediary nodes uh, so the various protocols network layer protocols that are used are ipv4 ipv6 6 lowpn so basically it is internet protocol version 4 internet protocol version 6 so these are the short forms we'll be discussing about these protocols in detail so now you just know that these are the network layer protocols then is the transport layer okay which is the layer above the network or internet layer now this layer it ensures that the data or the information which is sent from the sending device or the source it reaches the destination it makes sure of that okay so that is what is uh, referred to as end to end mes message transfer capability okay so it can either be stateless or stateful now in stateless what me what were uh, I don't want into I don't want to go into that because uh, I have not uh, described it here. So basically, stateless means that uh, once the data is sent from the source, whether it reaches the destination or not, it does. The the protocol has no role to play in that. But in stateful, it makes sure that the data is uh, which is being sent from the source it reaches the destination only then. After receiving the data, the next data packet will be allowed to, uh, the next communication will be allowed to take place. So that is uh, to, to explain it in a simple way. So the transport layer, it provides various services such as error control. It means any damaged data which is, uh, which is received by the destination, it will request for to resend those data packets uh, again segmentation to divide the uh, large bunch of data or a large data information bunch into several smaller packets then the rate in which the data is being sent and received okay and the overcrowding of the data packets to control that so this is what error control segmentation flow and congestion control generally are an example of transport layer protocols are transmission control protocol TCP and universal datagram protocol UDP. Okay, now finally is the layer at the top which is the application layer. Now the application layer it uh, defines the rules, regulations and protocols about how a particular layer interacts or is interfaced with the layers that are below it okay how the various layers okay each of these layers they are interfaced with one another how they communicate with one another how the data flow will take place that is governed by the application layer so generally it uh, performs data encoding which means converting a data any data audio video image anything into certain bit streams okay bit streams means a series of binary bits zero and one zeros and ones that is what it is called as data encoding and process to process communication now process to process communication i've already discussed in the computer networking and data communication section in detail so process to process communication generally refers to the the, the program from which the data is sent to another program in the destination device so that is basically what process to process communication is so here uh, network security comes into play cryptography comes into play in the data encoding and decoding uh, concept so we'll not go into uh, those things now so just you remember that this is the function of the application layer the example of the application layer is uh, HTTP protocol hypertext transfer protocol which is used uh, for you can see HTTP and wh whenever you look at a particular URL or website you will find this then WebSocket data distribution service DDS and many other protocols are there these are just to name a few so here we have discussed the various layers in which the communication protocols uh, 
the function okay the link layer the network or internet layer the transport layer and the application layer now here we have just covered them in short we'll be discussing about each of these things in detail so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much